11-year-old Golf Phenom wants to win the Masters. This is fascinating. The International Junior Masters is returning to East Aurora Country Club this week after a year off due to the epidemic. This year, they added a female section for the first time, and the youngest participant in the tournament's history delighted everyone on the course. Yes, the golfer is just 11 years old, who practiced without taking a break and aspiring to win the Master. Pretty amazing, right? Wanna know more? So today in this video, we're going to talk about the surprising fact that the 11-year-old golf phenom wants to win the Masters. Hello golfers, welcome to 24 Golf. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of golf content. With that being said, let's get started. When Zevi Perez was two years old and his parents went to Toys R Us, he would go straight to the aisle with the plastic golf clubs. He'd play three holes, be handed a bottle and then slumber off on the golf course during his early days. Zevi won a closing competition at the camp. He was earlier told he was too young to join before the age of three. Zevi grew up watching Golf Channel instructional broadcasts instead of cartoons. Over the past eight years, the child is known as X-Man. He won more than 250 golf competitions, made appearances on national morning shows, and is even considered one of the best junior golfers in the country. Zevi may be the youngest player to work with a major golf brand, striking a long-term agreement with Encore Golf while still being in his adolescent years. Since he published a photo of himself on social media at the age of five and tagged Encore, the firm has been providing Zevi with their golf balls. But there's more to the new official alliance than golf balls. It's about giving Zevi the freedom to follow his passion while also assisting his parents, Miguel and Christine, in realizing the ambition. Miguel was in the military for 33 years as an army ranger and didn't get into golf until Zevi fell in love with the sport. Christine educates Zevi from the family's conversion van, which they purchased to enable them to travel to golf events around Georgia and beyond. When you have a child as gifted as he is, it's common to see parents being pushy and making their child's goal their own. Encore co-founder Brett Blakely remarked, I can honestly say Zevi just loves golf. He possesses passion, the genuineness of his personality, kind-hearted temperament, and gentle manly approach to not just the game but also his interactions with everyone he meets. With the Perez's, we've become like family. We have such a strong connection now that this youngster is getting to the age where I can't wait to walk the course with him and see him compete at higher and higher levels, says the coach. When Zevi was five years old, the only thing Encore possessed and was renowned for was a hollow metal core ball. They went to Georgia and observing a tiny Zevi holding up one of their balls and expressing his delight. When they arrived in Georgia, they encountered a young man with a pure swing much above his ears. They also encountered a little boy who radiated true compassion much above his years, with the demeanor and manners that surprised them. It was one of those moments where I said to myself, wow, this child is unique, whatever he does, Blakely declared. At the time, we didn't have a tour ball. There was no mention of golf in the relationship at the time. We didn't know for sure if the firm would be around next year, much less six or 10 years. It was more about forming an instant link, and we were eager to follow little Zevi's path to see whether it was something he wanted to continue. Blakely and the Encore team didn't contact Miguel about offering further help until years later. Yes, Zevi continues to utilize Encore golf balls, now the Vero X1, but the collaboration allows for much more, from guaranteeing that the family can travel to competitions to ensure that he'll be able to participate in practice rounds at competition locations rather than turning up chilly. The cooperation between Encore and the Perez family was kept under wraps. While Miguel and Cristina try to drown out the surrounding noise, they hear inevitable inquiries about whether Zevi is too young to have an agreement like this in place. Every day is a passion, Miguel Perez remarked. He loves the greatest game ever played, so we just watched it for the 600th time. So how can you say enough? Most of the time, they have to tell him that if he doesn't do this or tidy his room, the clubs will be taken away. How can you have too much desire for that? It's the only thing he wants. They'll have to put the earmuffs on and keep caring for and feeding him. Fortunately, they have some excellent aid. This is the story of Javier and his dream. Miguel's history in military may remind you of the father of another former wonderkin. Miguel, on the other hand, only played when his army comrades pushed him to. So how did Zevi become interested in the game and convince his father to join him? It didn't hurt that their house was on the tee box of a golf course in Louisiana at the time. I'd see everyone hitting balls and having a nice time out there. The game had me completely absorbed. 
During a chat riddled with sirs, the extroverted Zevi remarked, I just fell in love with it. To say Zevi takes the game seriously is an understatement. In Charlotte, he has a long game coach, while one of his short game coaches is in Alabama. He'll typically play and practice golf till dusk, once his homeschooling is over at around 1 p.m. He frequently competes against teens and adults rather than children his age, and he plays in a men's group regularly. At the age of 10, he was named Georgia State Golf Association Player of the Year in the 12- to 14-year-old division in 2020. Zevi made history last year by becoming the youngest golfer to participate in the International Junior Masters, reaching the semifinals after defeating two highly rated juniors aged 17 and 18 and finishing third. Because the event was hosted near Encore's office in Buffalo, New York, Blakely and other members of the Encore staff were able to see his drives of 280 to 285 yards down the middle of the fairway. They also witnessed Zevi's contagious personality spread to the other participants. A lot of these other kids are really tense. They are nervous, they want to do well and they're all in. Zevi is focused and he approaches things differently, Blakely adds. But the second hole, Zevi had these youngsters who were alone and not saying anything smiling. He's loosening them up and they're getting better. I don't think many people can transform their opponents into friends in the middle of a tournament, Blake mentioned. Zevi is a competitive competitor who is polite and nice, often removing his hat and shaking hands with new individuals he encounters. The family's bulging trophy cabinet bears witness to this. If you ask Zevi about a terrible golf day, he'll tell you he's never had one. That isn't due to a shortage of days either. The only issue we have is that Xavier is always eager to go when he wakes up, Miguel says. Every morning, he's prepared and has a plan for what has to be improved. Parents used to rush him a lot of the time, but they force him to do something with the family instead of golf. At the age of 11, Zevi Perez joins an unusual group of Encore ambassadors that include 86-year-old Gary Player, NFL player Josh Allen, and Ezekiel Elliott, millionaire investor Charles Schwab, golf trick shot artist Tanya Tare, and professional golfer Eric Compton. Blakely believes that other firms will ultimately present Zevi and his family with life-altering prospects that Encore will likely be unable to match. He's had those conversations with Miguel, but right now, his emphasis is on allowing young Jevi to pursue his ambition of becoming a professional golfer. After going over his daily routine, the child changes gears and expressed hope that one day he would be waving to family and friends as he went around the fairways of Augusta National, not far from the family's Georgia home. We'd be comfortable with anything changing in the future. However, we consider ourselves fortunate, Blakely remarked. They know we're not in this to make a profit off Zevi because of the relationship we've developed. We're in this to make sure Zevi gets every chance to flourish and become whomever he wants to be, whether it's in golf or college. There are a lot of talented golfers who never make it because they aren't given the right opportunity. So what do you think? Aren't you impressed? Do you feel optimistic for Zevi? Tell us in the comment section. Having said that, that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed our content today, I'd ask you to give this video a thumbs up and join this channel by subscribing. For more golf-related latest news to come. Also, press the bell icon to stay updated on our activities. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Until then, peace out.